Welcome to in 5 minutes. Now we'll write a recursive function to find x raised to n where x is real, real stands for floating point value and n is an integer. Now again x raised to n can be defined in, in three different ways. One is x raised to n is x into x raised to n minus 1. Simple example 2 raised to 3 is 2 into 2 raised to 2 for positive n when n is positive that is power is positive x raised to n is 1 if n is 0 anything raised to 0 is 1 and x raised to n is given by 1 upon x into x raised to n plus 1 when n is negative now that is a simple mathematics of x raised to n now we'll be defining a function in same way let's see first how we'll design the function the function wants to evaluate x raised to n so there are two unknowns x and n which you are going to input so function will have two parameters x and n x will be float n will be integer the function is going to generate answer of x is to n so that will be again a floating point value so function will have written value as floating point value in main we will input the two values that is one for base and one for power then we will call the function with two parameters function will evaluate the answer that will be a recursive function and give value back to that is written value back to main in main we will display the final answer of x raised to n so this is how the overall program will be we start with normal hash include commands then we have a function defined over here with name power it's a user defined function taking float x and int n as parameter and float as a return type again function has three conditions the way we have set over here we normally write first as a fixed condition which is for n equal to 0 it has fixed value of 1 so we return over here if n equal to 0 then return 1 that is answer will be 1 else if n is positive that is n is greater than 0 then return x into power of x raised to n minus okay so the last part is else return 1 upon x into power of x comma n plus 1 that is x raised to n plus 1 as the program starts with main we have a and v as floating point variables, b as a int variable, which I'll be using as a power. Then using printf, scanf, we'll input the values for a and b, that is base and power. a will be base, which is float, and b will be integer, that is power. Then we'll call the function b equal to power a comma b. So values of a and b will be passed to x and n respectively, and function will start working. Now let's see if a and b were 2 and 3 that is 2 raised to 3 how the function is going to work value received in x is 2 and n is 3 so as main starts working it will be v is equal to power i'm writing in short p 2 comma 3 function starts working value received will be 2 and 3 in x and n first condition is false so it goes to next condition n is greater than 0 true so returns x into power of x is to n minus 1 that is returns it should return the answer of 2 into power of 2 comma 2 now since again there is a function call from here the function will be called back and n will be value 2 with that again function starts working n equal to 0 is false so else if works if n is greater than 0 return statement works return will have command like this it will be return 2 into power of 2 comma 1 again is a recursive call over here from here function will be called back and n result will be 1 again the condition is false so else if part works returns 2 into power of x is to 0 so this time the function call takes place and function starts working with else if part return 2 into power of 2 comma 0 this time the function calls value result will be 0 and if is true so return 1 works so in this call return 1 value will be given back to previous call that is this call 1 will be received over here that is return 2 into 1 so 2 will be given back to previous call so it returns 2 into 2 that is 4 back to previous call that is 4 then this return command will return 2 into 4 that is 8 back to its previous call which is in main and main receives a value as 8 in v and that is displayed by printf thank you